it's Tammy from Tammy Colors 2 and I'm here with an April haul video for you. So let's get started. I did get a few supplies and we will talk about those. First I'll do the small ones. Um, I did end up getting two of my um, watercolor confections that I collect. I got Essence and Complexion. I guess I can take this out of its box. Here is the tin and I have already unwrapped them and swatched them. Oh, this one I'm having trouble with because it gets, it's the, the tin that is not, you know, out of the, out of the packaging wasn't as tight as they normally are and so I keep trying to bend the tines to get them to stay in but here you can see how numbered they are um but anyway that's beside the point oh gosh I got them backwards I'll have to sort those out but anyway <laughs> so um here is these are the colors that are in the complexion set if you want to see those these colors are very pigmented and then that box and then the essence set yeah those stayed in and this is a very very pretty color set I really like those those are gorgeous. I don't remember how many more I need. I think like three or four sets and I'll have them all. So that's cool. Then, let's see. So I wanted to try these for a while and um, I saw them. Uh, one of, they were on a, a sale on Amazon and they are the Spectrum Noir metallic flip markers and I was very intrigued by them. I've, like I said, I've seen them in the past. So, um, they are, if you didn't know, I'll pull them out here. This is the Cosmic Wonder and the Natural World. Oh, come on. I guess I can actually take them out of the box now though. So they are basically glitter paint markers um, and they're um, like a color shift. So, you know, they have the little ball in them and they have a tip like this. So they color like an acrylic paint marker. And then, um, so this is like, I have like glitter pens, so you have to kind of ignore this up here. I'm, I'm collecting all of the glitter markers and the flip markers. I think there's only, I don't know if there's any more sets of flip markers yet. Um, but so I've got two sets of glitter markers that I have had in previous hauls and I'm, I need one set called the Cool Elements, which is proving to be a little bit difficult to get to, get, get. Um, but the Cosmic Wonder are this row right here, and they are, they're like metallic, um, dual metallics, um, and they're very, very pretty. They have different glitters and different inks, um, like the Marine has like a green ink with blue glitter. The Reef has blue ink with green glitter. <laughs> I thought that was cool. The Prairie is green ink with green with some and a different color green glitter. Then you got a rainforest with like green and gold. And the moonlight. The moonlight's beautiful. The sunset is beautiful. That's the natural wonders, sorry. Um, but they're they're really cool. Um if you wanna see, I think I have a blank blank ish piece of paper here. Alright. So I can show you really quick. Oh, shoot. So 
And they just color like a glitter, glitter marker. And they are really, the tips are, are not too fat. They have a nice point on them. Um, I find that they um, color nicely. So these are going to be fun to accent with. I'm going to put those, like I have my whole collection of the neon ones are pretty. The neon lights go to markers and the vibrant florals are really pretty too. Um, but yeah, these flip markers are beautiful. So those are fun. You know, they're six in each. I got these off of Amazon US. But like I said, Spectrum Noir is um, English, so they're probably easier to get in... Uh, England. I mean, they do have a lot of stuff. Crafter's Companion has a lot of stuff in the U.S., but it's harder and more expensive to get a hold of. <laughs> so, and I love it. And um, it's always a challenge. So I'm going to have to um, get my hands on the last set of glitter, glitter markers, the cool elements. And then that will complete those. Like I said, I only saw these two sets of flip markers, but there might be more. So it doesn't really tell you. I think I looked on Spectrum Noir's Spectrum Noir and Crafters Companions websites, and um, I only saw those two. So that's cool. Those are really pretty. Those were fun to finally get to try out. Um, let's see. So that's that. And then, um, so March was my birthday and for, um, I got some money from friends and, um, my aunt sent me some money and a coloring friend sent me some money. So I bought one thing that was, um, coloring related and the other thing is not coloring related, <laughs> but I bought myself the chroma flow colored pencils so thank you very much you know who you are and you are awesome and i have so much fun coloring with you um but yeah i bought myself the derwent chroma flow colored pencils with birthday money from friends and they're not in the case they are um sorry hang on forgot to get them down. This is them all swatched out. And I put them in this case. Here they are. They are skinny. I find it funny that everything that Derwent does is fat. Like all their pencils. Of course, I don't have all their pencils. It's my goal to collect all their pencils. But, but these are really skinny. <laughs> and I don't understand why. But you know, so there's a whole set, the 72, which is the biggest set they have. Um, I had been waiting for them to come back down in price before I bought them, and they did, finally. Um, so, and they're still a really good price right now, but the Eerie Books just love these pencils. I'm, I'm so excited to have the full set. I bought, like, a 12 set a year or so ago, and, you know, when they first came out, and, like, the, um... The only thing they had was like 12 or 24 pencils or something. I guess 24. Is that 24? It was like the biggest set that they had at the time. And they had a sale at Blick at Christmas time. And so I bought those. And um, so I've been waiting because at first they're all really expensive. But I just love Derwent and uh, I love their pencils. So that was, you know, birthday birthday money from friends and I'm very very appreciative because this is really something that I really wanted for a while so I'm very happy yay and um the other thing I bought um was a uh a gig a gig bag for my trombone and I can put a picture of it in here um but um I've been wanting if you have a if you have an instrument or if you play an instrument um like I said, my aunt sent me some money too. Um, you, you know, a trombone is very big. Mine is, and um, it has a big hard case, and it's very difficult to navigate through band rooms and things like that if you're going uh, to 
to, to concerts and stuff like that. And so this one has a strap on the side and uh, back it has shoulder straps. So you can put it on your back like a backpack. And so you can just stick it on your back and it goes up and down and you just walk right through the crowd and it's so nice. I've, I've had it for like a week now and I used it once and oh, it was so nice to not have to figure out how to hold my trombone case up. And, that was so cool so but anyway thank you all for the birthday uh, money I appreciate it I have thanked my aunt profusely um, and she was so excited because she has she plays a guitar and she bought a guitar case for herself at one point and she's like oh you're gonna love it <laughs> so anyway on to stuff that I bought uh, books books are next um, sorry, I'm gaining, getting some stuff together here. So, I feel like I'm missing one. I placed a book outlet order. One, two, three, four, five. I know there were six. Hang on. One of them is missing. I guess this one. So, I bought six books from a book outlet. Because what I will do is I'll go looking and then I put books in my cart and then... Um, eventually when there are enough books to get free shipping or they have a really good sale or whatever then I will see if there's anything else I want and then place the order so some of these have been in my cart for a very long time <laughs> but um, uh, I got Zendoodle Colorscapes I had, this one's been in my cart forever um, it's pretty it's a Deborah Muller this one is a really really pretty book Lots of tropical summery pictures, so those are fun. I love these um, Colorscapes books. They're, they're really nice. So I got that one. Um, I got The Natural World, Color of the Natural World by Zoe Keller. This is effective, it's a, it's a single-sided book with double page spreads. So you've got a double page spread. You know, and it's beautiful, like, this one is, you know, all animals and things. She has a very neat, unique style of art. And then, um, she tells you in the back what all the animals are in each scene, you know, where they live. So, that's really nice. But I like the fact that it's double page spreads with, that are single sided. This one's really cool. So, I have a flip through on my channel of that. Then, let's see, I got Mythographic Menagerie, finally. So I'm adding this one to my collection. So I had that. Millie Murata's Island Escape. Adding it to my Millie Murata collection. I do not have all of her books, but that's okay. I don't necessarily want them all. Then... The two that were kind of... Now, I couldn't find flip-throughs of these. And um, this one's very interesting. So, this one... I I know better <laughs> than to order books like this. But it was intriguing and I wanted to see it. And it's a shame because the paper is so nice in this book. Um, coloring Thoughts of Love. 100 Messages to Say I Love You. I Love Hearts. I Love Things Like That. Um, but this one is kind of weird so I will donate this one to a good cause and the paper is just like so nice and thick in these so but eh, I don't like it at all this this kind of stuff is not, I mean there's a couple images in here I would color um, and I'm not gonna fight with book outlet to return it so I'll just um, give it a good home <laughs> and then the last one I got which this one is really cool and weird um, it is Nature Coloring Thunder Bay Press is the printer like I said this is from Book Outlet and I saw it and I'm like oh it's cool and at first well it's taken me a little while to figure it out so it's patterns patterns are cool um, and you've got a pattern on this side and you've got a, a, like a light colored pattern on this side. 
And the problem is, is I like the patterns over here better than I like the patterns over here. It's almost like, I mean, this is pretty, like, so I can't decide what I want to do with it. I'm intrigued. I love these patterns over here on this side. Maybe you're supposed to, maybe it's a double-sided book. Maybe you're supposed to color both sides. I don't know. I'm very, very, I've never seen anything like this. At first I was ignoring these, you know, and because I thought, well, it's just the light gray printing on the other side. But there's like really cute little images on here. So is it a left-handed book with gray printing? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm very mystified by this book. So we'll see. Um, like I said, I like, I like the light gray images better than I like the dark blind images. It's very unique. I've never seen anything like this. Um, and it doesn't really say anything about it. So I need to see if I can find it, because like I said, I got it from Book Outlet. More than 100 beautifully designed line drawings of patterns, motifs, and symmet symmetries to color and soothe your stress away. So, I don't know. Hmm. It's, it's cool, though. I mean, I, I'm, def I'm keeping it. Um, we'll see. Then I got Enchanted Earth uh, by Melchimini Chatsy. Chatsy Panagiotu. How beautiful this is. This one is really pretty. All of hers are really pretty. Um, I got Alien Worlds. This is Spectacular by Kirby Rosans. Um, I should not allow myself. I'm glad that he's not doing any more for a while because... <laughs> This art is just amazing, and I have not colored nearly enough. This reminds me of, where was it? There's a picture. <sighs> this looks like a scene from a movie. This, oh man. Like a, a sci-fi movie, I think. And it's, oh, it's not coming to me. A lot of these look like movies I've seen, so it would be interesting for him to do a commentary on what inspired every one of these pictures. Um, I did, I got um, Birds in the Forest. I've been waiting for this one to come out because I have all of Denise Collette's books, her three that she's had so far, and this one is so adorable. Have I colored in any of them? No, but that's going to change. I need to actually do that. I love this bear. This bear is adorable. These birds are adorable too. So those ornery little birds. Very, very cute book. I'm happy she came out with another one. I was on a hunt for pattern books. Don't ask me why I am not a pattern person. However, for some reason, I think Doodle Robot has inspired me. <laughs> And so I found this one. I really like all the little patterns in here. It's perfect. It's eight and a half by eight and a half. It's small. So this will be cute and, cute and playful patterns by Young Dreamers Press. I did a flip through of this. It's on my channel. It's very cute. I love it. Um, I also got 100 Amazing Patterns by Jade Summer because I knew I would like their work and they did not disappoint. I did... Um, I flipped through of this on the channel. This one's really pretty. I like this one. This one came out in 2022. All right, so next, I saw, well, sort of, I saw this on Colored by Maya's channel. She had a different book by Lydia Hess. Uh, I think Lydia has like um, three of them. And I can't remember what they all are at the moment. But um, I actually really liked this one. I bought kind of a used copy, so it's got, it had like a sticker on the cover. Um, but uh, it's Sacred Animals, Coloring Experiences for the Mystical and Magical, illustrated by Lily Lydia Hess. And she has a very interesting um, art style, and I love it. It's, it's 
really pretty. I just like the ones with the animals and it, it tells you what that animal means in here. There's a flip through on my channel of this book if you're interested. I love this tiger. The tiger and the butterfly are power. Well, I'm sure a lot of people know that. I just don't study these kind of things. So sometimes it's new to me. <laughs> But anyway, that's an amazing book. Thank you, Maya, for reminding me that Lydia has existed because I didn't know about her. Um, next, I picked up Tarot Coloring, illustrated by Alexis E. Thompson. And I picked this up because I saw it on um I I saw it on Happy Catastrophe. However, hers is not the first channel that I saw it on. I knew about this book a while ago, and Happy Catastrophe is now doing a tarot, um, she's doing a tarot series each card, but, um, anyway, there is a flip through of this on my channel, so I'm trying to go through, I was testing, um, some markers here, because I'm, I want to use my Tombows in here, and it's working very nicely, um, so these are beautiful, and here's a picture I started. The Magician. I need to do the Fool. She did the Fool and the Magician. Now I know there's a third one. I think it might be the High Priestess. I think these are in order. Some of the books that I've seen aren't in order. I can't remember, but um, the pictures in here are just, just gorgeous. I love this art. So, oh. <laughs> I can see this in my head, and... It's not going to come out the way it's in my head, <laughs> but I'm going to try. Maybe by then, maybe by the time I get to it. But this is really fun. Check that one out. Then I picked up um, a few color by numbers. I got Mystery Mosaics. This one's by, these were, I, I picked up some by, by companies I didn't have any by. can't remember who this is because they don't always put their names in here. I thought it was here somewhere, but I guess not. I can't remember the name of the company. Um, but anyway, this looked cool. It's four by four and the pictures look nice. This is, it's bright. Um, it's nice. Some of you might not like it because they have a color palette on the back and the numbers don't always match. They just give you the numbers for that picture and the colors that correspond to them and they don't correspond to what's back here. So that's up to you. Um, I think this is a really cute book so I want to do something in there. Um, I didn't do a flip through on it because it's hard to, to do that. <laughs> um, this one I saw on Feral Sojo Shoujo's channel. Um, she likes these books. She likes color by numbers and and uh, mystery mosaics and so do I and I thought this one is a company that I didn't know about and this one's interesting this is um Knox Smith and this color is this paper is cream colored which is interesting now it's the same color palette on every page he just repeats it um, and these are circles. This is all tropical birds. So this one looks interesting. There's another one with animals in it. If I like this, I'll pick that up. I also got, I was on a, a pattern kick. Um, I decided I wanted pattern books, but not just any patterns. I'm not into like geometric, crazy, weird patterns. They have to make a little sense to me because that's the way my brain it's, that's the way they're most appealing to my brain. So I had seen some on other people's channels. This one I just found by accident. Um, it's a world of stress relieving patterns by Kim Mansummer. There's a flip through on my channel and <clears throat> I don't know if it's really patterns, but it's, uh, pictures. I don't really know what you qualify this as. To me, it's not patterns, but I really like it. <laughs> There's something about it. Um, I really enjoy, and you know, it wasn't expensive. This It came out in 2023, so it's fairly new. And they have several different books. Um, this was the most appealing to me. So check that out if you're interested. And another one I saw on Doodle Robot's channel was Modern Damask Motifs. Um, 
because she's the one that's gotten me into pattern books lately. And this is pretty. Um, it's Some of it's intricate. Um, I don't use my fine liners or anything like that, and I need to. Um, but also, Coloring with Kay did a color along. The last one that she did, she just did it a few days ago. And um, she talks about how she uses, I mean, she just uses everything. And I'm like, why don't I? I mean, I, I know why. I know it's because it's like, you got to get this out and that out. And you have all this stuff on your desk. <laughs> but I can't let that stop me. Um, and she uses like watercolors and then she puts pencil on top and she'll use fine liner to color stuff in. And, and I'm like, why don't I do that? <laughs> so I have the stuff. Why don't I do it? Why do I try to, I mean, unless I'm doing something that's like in particular, all pencil on this page for some reason, like, you know, I said I was going to do a picture in all polychromos or something like that you know, the, but why, why am I limiting myself? I don't know. There's no reason. <laughs> so anyway, I digress. Um, another pattern book, Intricate Patterns by Jade Summer. I never thought I would like this, but I liked in, um, Jade Summer's other ones. Um, there's another one they did with, uh, intricate flower patterns. I do have that and it's really pretty. Um, but I just, I really like this one. This is fun. I like Jade Summer. So, um, but yeah, I think I've got all the pattern books I'm going to get. This one's been around for a while. Well, this one came out in 2022. I thought there was another one. Um, but I guess I was probably thinking about something else. So there's a flip through on my channel of this one. This is cool if you're interested in patterns. And then, um, oh gosh, I forgot some supplies. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're doing supply, more supplies after this because I put another pile over there. Um, this is Exotic Kingdom. I, again, saw this on Coloring with Maya's channel. And um, she colored a picture and it was gorgeous. The paper in this book is beautiful. It's got nice thick paper. I did a flip through. Um, it's, it's just beautiful. Gorgeous. And... Um, I need to do stuff in it. It's kind of a, it's, sometimes I have trouble telling whether it's white, white or off white <laughs> and my lighting doesn't help. But anyway, so there's a flip through if you want to see it. Um, it was one of, it was either colored by Maya does updates. She does updates and she does finished pages. And I can't remember if it was in her last update video or her last finished pages video that she had colored she showed a colored picture or it might have been one of her it, it, it's a recent video like within the last few weeks but she does so many things and she'll show you pictures and I don't really know I don't remember um which video it was in so I apologize but just go watch all of her videos <laughs> all right so the supplies I forgot um, I went to the Dollar Tree and I finally found these and these are awesome I have like three packs of them now so I love glitter gel pens these are actually really nice it, finding them was a challenge I've heard people talk about them for years and it's she can't find them and now all of a sudden the Dollar Tree seem to be restocking stuff which is cool I have seen stuff that I haven't I've never seen and they're organized really nicely so kudos um and I also found this little pack of minis because I have a plan my mom got me a little set for Christmas this little tiny tin with a little coloring book and these little tiny markers and these so I'm and I got some bags that you'll see in a minute and I'm going to put them in my purse so that I have something with me and next um i got the colorista pencils i wanted these they just came out uh spectrum noir came out with a new set of budget pencils and they're like five dollars a 12 pack but they had there was a a sale or a special they finally went down to it was like 17 dollars for all four sets so they're fairly cheap um and I wanted them. I wanted to try them. 
And so these are the colors. So I, I did them this way. So this is like all four sets. This is the portrait set, which is this set. The perfect portrait. Um, and they have color names. And then this is the floral sensations. We've got all of those in there. And then is this the bright and vivid, which are these two columns of colors. That's pretty. And then I've got the natural landscape, which is these two. And these are pretty. Um, they're really nice. They laid down nice. Um, Liz at home did a, a thing where she uh, tested them on a picture and she likes them also. They are, they're skinny. They're like skinny like a polychromos. Uh, polychromos. They're skinny like a um, chromaflow. They are, to me, they feel exactly the same. They're really slick. Um, they have a dipped end on the bottom. Let's see, is this the flint gray? Here's flint gray. It's, and the, the colors on the ends aren't too bad. They seem to be, I can't remember when I was looking at them how different they were. But I have to decide like where I'm gonna put them in. I think I have a I have an old pencil roll that I think I'm gonna stick them in. I, I assume that they'll probably come out with more colors. Like I said, these are new um, and I don't have any Spectrum Noir colored pencils because sometimes they can be difficult for Americans to get a hold of and they're expensive. Um, but these are cheap and actually really nice. So I like them. Personally, in my opinion, I like them. <laughs> um, and then these I have wanted for a Coons Age. These have been on my list forever and I keep wanting to buy them and then I wouldn't. Because uh, Stadler is so... People like it. They don't like it. Um, now, the ones that... I know people don't like the Norris because they're so hard. And then I don't remember what the ones are that, that they sell at Walmart. Are those the Norris Club? There's two different kinds. And one of them is really hard and people really don't like. And then there's another one that I don't remember the name of. And then these are the Ergosoft. The um, 36 is as many as they come in. This is the biggest set you can get. They come in a nice hinged tin, which I'm gonna leave them in here. And then here they are. And and uh, Pamela's passion for pencils is right. Um, no, it was colorfully optimistic. This is the best curated set of 36 colors I have ever seen. Um, so I'll show you in a second. So these are, they have like this white coating that helps keep your lead from breaking. They are triangular. They have a soft kind of matte, um, coating like the coloring book covers are. Um, and don't quote me on this, but I believe I saw on Amazon or somewhere or on the Stadler website that you could buy singles of these. I was looking looking at something and I swear I saw these and that, that you could buy singles, which was cool. So I think you can buy singles of them. Um, I really should have checked that out. But anyway, here is the color chart. I mean, it's just a perfect, it's, it's a really good mix of colors. Um, the greens you need, the blues you need, the oranges and the reds and the yellows. I mean, you could do anything with this small set and that's what I like about it. I don't feel like I'm really missing anything. You have a light and a dark purple. You've got a dark and a light pink. You've got a couple different pinks over here. You've got your yellows and your oranges and your reds. You've got a couple of grays and your browns. I mean, for 36 colors, that's impressive. And I wish everyone would do that. <laughs> they're gonna make small sets so um those I just decided that I kept staring at them and I just I might as well do it at that point so I'm glad I got them uh then I went to the Dollar Tree as you know and look at all these little cute bags um I'm gonna use one of these to put little pens or I haven't decided yet 
Um, but they had all of these like nice makeup bags or whatever. Um, so I got one of each color to use for different things. They're really super cute. I mean, for $1.25, heck yeah. So I got one of those. I got a couple different, they have one with sloths on it too. So, but I got the pandas and the llamas and it's just a little zipper pouch. I was thinking my little, um, mini glitter mark, glitter pens could go in here. Cause I'm going to do up one of these and that's what's going to go in my purse maybe, or I might use the small one. I got this one cause it's really small and I may just do something small like this. And look how it expands quite a bit. So this may be the one that goes in my purse to take with me. And then they just have this cute little expandable drawer, which is kind of neat. I hadn't seen these there before, but of course it's a crapshoot, you know, the one where, which store you go to and what they have. Oh, I left my, this is a, a thing where they use to hang these in the store. Um, but it made a nice band to, um, hold my, hold my case or hold this together to keep it from coming open just in case. <laughs> so there is that. And then I'll show you the last thing. One second. All right. And the last thing that I got is I got, um, the second set of 30 Ardex acrylic markers. Now they have different kinds. These are the, the ones that are short and they only have one end, which is a brush end. Um, so there are two sets of 30 of these and they did put markers in with the second set. They, they may put it in with the first set now too, but uh, at the time that I bought mine, they did not do that. Um, so if you wanna know, they have a couple different kinds. They have this kind, um, which has a brush on one end and a bullet on the other and they're black and they have numbers on them. Uh, a letter and a number. And I think there's two different sets of like 18 of these. Let me look here really quick. Since I have my um, swatch card out. Six, twenty-four. Yeah, so they have a set of twenty-four of those. I think they have another one. Oh yeah, and then they have a set of thirty-two of these. So there's a good number of them, and then you've got the white ones, or the acrylic ones, which I've had for a while. Or sorry, metallic ones. They do not have numbers on them, so I put numbers on them. And there's 18 of those. Then, <laughs> then they have the ones that look like this. And it, they're like a pastel set. And, oh, I took those out. Because um, the set one that I've had, and there's 30, that's what's in there. And they look like these. Um, but this set, if I haven't confused you enough, these are the colors that come in this set. Uh, so you can kind of see what's in them. They are different. Now this is like a, a pastel set. I think the box that the other ones come in is like the pinks and the purples are opposite. So it looks more pastel-y and this one's darker, if that makes sense. But it's it's been a while and I didn't keep the box. Um, so yeah, so this one's got more of your solid colors and this one is pastel-ish or the old one is, the original one's pastel. So I just marked them set one and set two. I'm not really, it's hard to tell on the website um, which one's which. <laughs> you just kind of have to figure it out. Um, but anyway, so that's your little lesson on Artex acrylic markers. And that is the end of my haul. So
Thank you for watching. I hope you found something you like. Let me know if you have questions. If there's anything you didn't see, you can't find. I would be happy to find it for you if it's still available. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.